Malayalam script Malayalalipi, IPA, Maljay Elp Listen, Malayalam, Malayalalipi is a Brahmic script used commonly to write the Malayalam language, which is the principal language of Kerala, India, spoken by 35 million people in the world. Malayalam script is also widely used for writing Sanskrit texts in Kerala. Like many other Indic scripts, it is an alphasyllabary a writing system that is partially alphabetic and partially syllable-based. The modern Malayalam alphabet has 13 vowel letters, 36 consonant letters, and a few other symbols. The Malayalam script is a Vatilutu alphabet extended with symbols from the Grantha alphabet to represent Indo-Aryan loanwords. The script is also used to write several minority languages such as Paniya, Beta Kurumba, and Ravula. The Malayalam language itself was historically written in several different scripts. Overview Topic Topic Characteristics Topic The basic characters can be classified as follows Vowels Svarum Svarum Independent vowel letters Dependent vowel signs Consonant letters, vyanianam vyanianam an independent vowel letter is used as the first letter of a word that begins with a vowel. A consonant letter, despite its name, does not represent a pure consonant, but represents a consonant plus a short vowel, a, by default. For example, ka is the first consonant letter of the Malayalam alphabet, which represents, ka, not a simple, k. A vowel sign is a diacritic attached to a consonant letter to indicate that the consonant is followed by a vowel other than, a. If the following vowel is a, uh, no vowel sign is needed. The phoneme a uh, that follows a consonant by default is called an inherent vowel. In Malayalam, its phonetic value is unrounded or as an allophone. To denote a pure consonant sound not followed by a vowel, a special diacritic varama is used to cancel the inherent vowel. The following are examples where a consonant letter is used with or without a diacritic. Ki ki equals ka ka plus i vowel sign i. Ku ku equals ka ka plus u vowel sign u. Kai kai equals ka ka plus i vowel sign i. Kk equals ka ka plus varama. Ka ka equals consonant letter ka ka itself, with no vowel sign. Malayalam alphabet is unicase, or does not have a case distinction. It is written from left to right, but certain vowel signs are attached to the left, the opposite direction of a consonant letter that it logically follows. In the word Keralam, Keralam, the vowel sign e, e visually appears in the leftmost position, though the vowel e logically follows the consonant k. Topic: History. Topic: Malayalam was first written in the Vatteluttu alphabet, an ancient script of Tamil. However, the modern Malayalam script evolved from the Grantha alphabet, which was originally used to write Sanskrit and Tulu. Both Vatteluttu and Grantha evolved from the Brahmi script, but independently. Vatteluttu alphabet Vatteluttu Malayalam, Vatilat Vatteluttu, round writing is a script that had evolved from Tamil Brahmi and was once used extensively in the southern part of present-day Tamil Nadu and in Kerala. Malayalam was first written in Vatteluttu. The Vizapali inscription issued by Rajashakara Varman is the earliest example, dating from about 830 CE. In the Tamil country, the modern Tamil script had supplanted Vatazuthu by the 15th century, but in the Malabar region, Vatazuthu remained in general use up to the 17th century, or the 18th century. A variant form of this script, Kalezuthu, was used until about the 19th century mainly in the Kochi area and in the Malabar area. Another variant form, Malayanma, was used in the south of Tiruvanantapuram. Grantha According to Arthur Koch Burnell, one form of the Grantha alphabet, originally used in the Chola dynasty, was imported into the southwest coast of India in the 8th or 9th century, which was then modified in course of time in this secluded area, where communication with the east coast was very limited. It later evolved into Tigalari Malayalam script was used by the Malayali, Havyaka Brahmins and Tulu Brahmin people, but was originally only applied to write Sanskrit. This script split into two scripts, Tigalari and Malayalam. 
While Malayalam script was extended and modified to write vernacular language Malayalam, the Tigalari was written for Sanskrit only. In Malabar, this writing system was termed Arya Alutu, Arya Elit Arya Alutu, meaning Arya writing Sanskrit is Indo-Aryan language while Malayalam is a Dravidian language. Vatilutu was in general use, but was not suitable for literature where many Sanskrit words were used. Like Tamil Brahmi, it was originally used to write Tamil, and as such, did not have letters for voiced or aspirated consonants used in Sanskrit but not used in Tamil. For this reason, Vatilutu and the Grantha alphabet were sometimes mixed, as in the Manapravalam. One of the oldest examples of the Manapravalam literature, Vaishikatantram, 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 dates back to the 12th century, where the earliest form of the Malayalam script was used, which seems to have been systematized to some extent by the first half of the 13th century. Thunchadthu Ezuthachan, a poet from around the 17th century, used Arya Alutu to write his Malayalam poems based on classical Sanskrit literature. For a few letters missing in Arya Alutu, la, la, ra, he used Vatilutu. His works became unprecedentedly popular to the point that the Malayali people eventually started to call him the father of the Malayalam language, which also popularized Arya Alutu as a script to write Malayalam. However, Grantha did not have distinctions between E and E, and between O and O, as it was as an alphabet to write a Sanskrit language. The Malayalam script as it is today was modified in the middle of the 19th century when Hermann Gundert invented the new vowel signs to distinguish them. By the 19th century, old scripts like Kalesuthu had been supplanted by Arya Alutu, that is the current Malayalam script. Nowadays, it is widely used in the press of the Malayali population in Kerala. Malayalam and Tigalari are sister scripts are descended from Grantha alphabet. Both share similar glyphic and orthographic characteristics. Topic. Orthography reform Topic. In 1971, the government of Kerala reformed the orthography of Malayalam by a government order to the Education Department. The objective was to simplify the script for print and typewriting technology of that time, by reducing the number of glyphs required. In 1967, the government appointed a committee headed by Soranad Kunjan Pillai, who was the editor of the Malayalam Lexicon Project. It reduced number of glyphs required for Malayalam printing from around 1,000 to around 250. Above committee's recommendations were further modified by another committee in 1969. This proposal was later accepted by major newspapers in January 1971. The reformed script came into effect on 15 April 1971 the Kerala New Year, by a government order released on 23 March 1971. Topic. Recommendations by the committees Topic. Topic. Use non-ligating vowel signs for U, U, and R. Topic. In the traditional orthography, that had been taught in the primary education till that time, any consonant or consonant ligature followed by the vowel sign of U, U, or R, are represented by a cursive consonant vowel ligature. The glyph of each consonant had its own way of ligating with these vowel signs. This irregularity was simplified in the reformed script. As per that, a vowel sign or the consonant sign would always have a disconnected symbol that does not fuse with the base consonant. Examples Ku 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 Ka U K R Ker Kar Nu Now Su Sao Topic Ref is replaced with Chilu Ra. Topic. In traditional orthography, the ref is represented by a dot over the subsequent letter. Instead of that, explicit standalone Chilu Ra would be used. RKKA. Ka Ka topic. Split uncommon conjuncts with Chandrakala. Topic. Also, most of traditional consonant consonant ligatures, especially the less common ones only used to write words of Sanskrit origin, were split into non ligated forms with explicit Chandrakala. For example, gg plus da da equals gda, gda ll plus ta ta equals lta. Elta topic. Use non ligating sign for conjoining ra. 
Any consonant or consonant ligature followed by the conjoining ra is represented by a cursive tail attached to the consonant or the consonant ligature. In the reformed script, this consonant sign would be disconnected from the base and represented as a left bracket-like symbol placed on the left side of the cluster. Kra Kra kara kru Kru kara utopic. Current status Topic. Today the reformed orthography, is commonly called put, iya lippi malayalam, putia lippi and traditional system, palaya lippi malayalam, palaya lippi. Current print media almost entirely uses reformed orthography. The state-run primary education introduces the malayalam writing to the pupils in reformed script only and the books are printed accordingly. However, the digital media uses both traditional and reformed in almost equal proportions as the fonts for both the orthographies are commonly available. Topic: <laughs> Malayalam letters. Topic: <laughs> Topic: <laughs> Vowels. Topic: <laughs> Topic: <laughs> Vowel letters and vowel signs Topic. The following tables show the independent vowel letters and the corresponding dependent vowel signs diacritics of the Malayalam script, with romanizations in ISO 15919, transcriptions in the International Phonetic Alphabet IPA. R, R, L, L, used to write Sanskrit words, are treated as vowels. They are called semi-vowels and are phonetically closer to vowels in Malayalam and in classical Sanskrit where Panini, the Sanskrit grammarian, groups them with vowel sounds in his sutras, see Proto-Indo-European language and Vedic Sanskrit. The letters and signs for R, L, L, are very rare, and are not considered as part of the modern orthography. The vowel signs A, I, I are placed to the right of a consonant letter to which it is attached. The vowel signs E, E, I are placed to the left of a consonant letter. The vowel signs O and O consist of two parts, the first part goes to the left of a consonant letter and the second part goes to the right of it. In the reformed orthography, the vowel signs U, U, R, are simply placed to the right of the consonant letter, while they often make consonant vowel ligatures in the traditional orthography. It is important to note the vowel duration as it can be used to differentiate words that would otherwise be the same. For example, kalam, means, earthenware pot while ka lam means time or season topic anisvaram topic an anisvaram 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 or an anisvara originally denoted the nasalization where the preceding vowel was changed into a nasalized vowel and hence is traditionally treated as a kind of vowel sign in Malayalam, however, it simply represents a consonant per meter, after a vowel, though this per meter, may be assimilated to another nasal consonant. It is a special consonant letter, different from a normal consonant letter, in that it is never followed by an inherent vowel or another vowel. In general, an anisvara at the end of a word in an Indian language is transliterated as M in ISO 15919, but a Malayalam anisvara at the end of a word is transliterated as M without a dot. Topic. A visurgam, visagam visurgam, or visurga, represents a consonant, H, after a vowel, and is transliterated as H. Like the anisvara, it is a special symbol, and is never followed by an inherent vowel or another vowel. Topic. Consonants Topic. Topic. Basic consonant letters Topic. The following tables show the basic consonant letters of the Malayalam script, with romanizations in ISO 15919, transcriptions in IPA, and Unicode character names. The character names used in the report of the Government of Kerala Committee 2001 are shown in lowercase italics when different from Unicode character names. Those alternative names are based on the traditional romanization used by the Malayali people. For example, da in is neither isoda nor unicode da, but da in this sense. 
The ISCII is 13,194 to 1,991. Character names are given in parentheses when different from the above. The consonants are retroflex. In Malayalam, they are produced by touching the underside of the tip of the tongue to the front part of the hard palate, apicopalatal. A dental nasal or alveolar nasal, depending on the word. B alveolar tap. C the tip of the tongue almost touches the teeth L forward than the English L. D E F voiceless apico palatal approximant. G dental sibilant fricative S H apico palatal. I this glyph is a ligature ka plus virama plus ssa, but is sometimes listed as a basic unit. Often pronounced, ah. J voiced apico palatal approximant. This consonant is usually described as but also can be approximated by k1 repetition of this letter ra plus ra often represents a geminated voiceless alveolar plosive tia 2 chilu n plus this letter plus ra often represents nda 3 otherwise alveolar trill apical ra optionally 1 may be transliterated as ta instead of ura 2 as enta not nada instead of enra l corresponds to tamil na na Used rarely in scholarly texts to represent the alveolar nasal, as opposed to the dental nasal. In ordinary texts both are represented by na-na. M used rarely in scholarly texts to represent the voiceless alveolar plosive, as opposed to the voiceless dental plosive represented by ta-ta. In ordinary texts this sound is represented by ra-ra. A chilu, or a chiloxurum, siloxurum siloxurum, is a special consonant letter that represents a pure consonant independently, without help of a varama. Unlike a consonant represented by an ordinary consonant letter, this consonant is never followed by an inherent vowel. Anisvara and Visarga fit this definition but are not usually included. ISCII and Unicode 5.0 treat a chilu as a glyph variant of a normal base consonant letter. In Unicode 5.1 and later, however, Chilu letters are treated as independent characters, encoded atomically. There are at least six known Chilu letters. Chilu K is rare. The other five are quite common. Topic: <laughs> Chandrakala. Topic. <laughs> Topic: As Varama. Topic. Chandrakala, Kandrakala, Kandrakala is a diacritic attached to a consonant letter to show that the consonant is not followed by an inherent vowel or any other vowel for example, ka ka k k. This kind of diacritic is common in Indic scripts, generically called varama in Sanskrit, or halant in Hindi. Topic. Half u Topic. At the end of a word, the same symbol sometimes represents a very short vowel, known as half u, or samvarathakaram, sanvarteyakaram, samvar, tokaram, or kudil ukaram. The exact pronunciation of this vowel varies from dialect to dialect, but it is approximately or and transliterated as u, for example, na na n nu. Optionally, a vowel sign u is inserted, as in nu equals na plus u plus. According to one author, this alternative form is historically more correct, though the simplified form without a vowel sign U is common nowadays. This means that the same spelling N may represent either N or NU depending on the context. Generally, it is NU at the end of a word, and N elsewhere, NU always represents NU. Topic. Ligatures Topic. Topic. Consonant ligatures Topic. Like in other Indic scripts, a varama is used in the Malayalam script to cancel or kill the inherent vowel of a consonant letter and represent a consonant without a vowel, so called a dead consonant. For example, na is a consonant letter na is a varama, therefore, N na plus varama represents a dead consonant N. If this NN is further followed by another consonant letter, for example, ma ma, the result may look like enma, which represents NMA as na plus varama plus ma. In this case, two elements NN and ma ma are simply placed one by one, side by side. 
Alternatively, NMA can be also written as a ligature enma. Generally, when a dead consonant letter C1 and another consonant letter C2 are conjoined, the result may be either a fully conjoined ligature of C1 plus C2, half conjoined C1 conjoining, a modified form, half form of C1 attached to the original form, full form of C2. C2 conjoining, a modified form of C2 attached to the full form of C1, or non-ligated, full forms of C1 and C2 with a visible varama, if the result is fully or half conjoined, the conceptual varama which made C1 dead becomes invisible, only logically existing in a character encoding scheme such as Unicode. If the result is non-ligated, a varama is visible, attached to C1. The glyphs for NMA has a visible varama if not ligated, enma but if ligated, the varama disappears. And usually the difference between those forms is superficial and both are semantically identical, just like the meaning of the English word paleography does not change even if it is spelled paleography, with the ligature A. Topic. Common consonant ligatures Topic. Several consonant consonant ligatures are used commonly even in the new orthography. The ligature MPA EMPA was historically derived from NPA ENPA. The ligatures CCA, BBA, YYA, and VVA are special in that a doubled consonant is denoted by a triangle sign below a consonant letter. Topic. Consonant plus YA, VA, LA, RA. Topic. One, the consonant letter ya is generally C2 conjoining after a consonant in both orthographies. For example, kk plus ya ya equals kya kya, pp plus ya ya equals pya pya in kya kya, a variant form of ya is placed after the full form of ka ka, just like ki ki is written ka ka followed by the vowel sign i i. In other words, the variant form of ya used after a consonant letter can be considered as a diacritic. Since it is placed after the base character, it is sometimes referred to as a post-base form. An exception is yya -ya see above. 2 Similarly, va after a consonant takes a post-base form kk plus va va equals kva kva pp plus va va equals pva pva An exception is vva vva see above. 3 The consonant letter la after a consonant traditionally takes a below base form. These forms are used also in the new orthography, though some fonts do not support them. KK plus Lele equals KLA CLA, PP plus Lele equals PLA PLA, LL plus Lele equals LLA LA. Not for a consonant letter RA after a consonant usually takes a pre base form in the reformed orthography, while this combination makes a fully conjoined ligature in the traditional orthography. KK plus RA RA equals KRA CRA traditional. PP plus RA RA equals PRA PRA traditional. Topic. ENTA and TA Topic. The ligature ENTA is written as NN plus RA RA and pronounced NDA. The ligature TA is written as RR plus RA RA. In those two ligatures, a small ra, ra is written below the first letter chilu n if it is a dead n. Alternatively, the letter ra is sometimes written to the right of the first letter, making a digraph just like oi used instead of oi in Greek. The spelling ra is therefore read either enra two separate letters or enta digraph depending on the word. Similarly, rara is read either rara or ta. Topic. Dot ref. Topic. In the traditional orthography, a dead consonant R before a consonant sometimes takes an above base form, known as a dot ref, which looks like a short vertical line or a dot. Generally, a chilu R is used instead of a dot ref in the reformed orthography. RR plus ga ga equals RGA reformed. Ga RR plus ya ya equals RJA reformed. Ya topic. Consonant vowel ligatures. Topic. Topic. Other symbols. Topic. Malayalam numbers and fractions are written as follows. These are archaic and no longer commonly used. 
Topic: <laughs> Unicode. Topic: Malayalam script was added to the Unicode standard in October 1991 with the release of version 1.0. Topic. Block Topic. The Unicode block for Malayalam is U plus OD00 U plus OD7F Topic. Chilis in Unicode Topic. For example, Avan Ava he is written as A plus VA VA plus Chilu N, where Chilu N represents the N sound without a vowel. In other Indic scripts, the same word would be possibly written as a plus va plus na plus varama. However, in Malayalam script, that sequence represents a different word, avanu avan, to him, and is not interchangeable with avan. This is because in modern Malayalam script, the sign for a varama also works as the sign for a vowel u at the end of a word, and is not able to cleanly kill the inherent vowel in this case, to differentiate a pure consonant chilu and a consonant with u, zero width joiner ZWJ and zero width non joiner ZWNJ were used before Unicode 5.1. However, this system was problematic. Among other things, glyph variants specified by ZWJ or ZWNJ are supposed to be non-semantic, whereas a chilu expressed as letter plus varama plus ZWJ and the same consonant followed by a U expressed as letter plus varama plus ZWNJ are often semantically different. After a long debate, six chilis now have their own code points starting from Unicode 5.1, though applications should also be prepared to handle data in the representation specified in Unicode 5.0. This means, fonts should display chilis in both sequences, while an input method should output standard chilis. The ligature ENTA is very common and supported by most Malayalam fonts in one way or another, but exactly how it should be encoded was not clear in Unicode 5.0 and earlier, and two incompatible implementations are currently in use. In Unicode 5.1 the sequence to represent it was explicitly redefined as Chilu N plus Varama plus Ra. Topic see also topic Malayalam Braille Arabi Malayalam Suriani Malayalam Kowargi Cox Alphabet Mulabhadra topic Notes topic topic References topic Mohanan, K.P. 1996. Malayalam Writing. In Daniels, Peter T. and Bright, William. The World's Writing Systems. New York, Oxford University Press. Burnell, Arthur Koch 1874. Elements of South Indian Paleography from the 4th to the 17th century AD. Trubner & Co. Canapari, Luciano 2005. 19.29 Malayalam. A Handbook of Phonetics. Lincom. ISBN 3-89586-480-3. External links Topic. Website to help you read and write the Malayalam alphabet Malayalam Unicode fonts